Hi, AP World History. Your lecture today is Western Society and Eastern Europe in the Decade of the Cold War. So we have the origins of the Cold War. What happened is Europe's a power vacuum after World War II. There's not really a powerful leader that can replace the leaders that had been there. And America tries to come in and help those nations that are war-torn Europe and um, help them out. Russia feels like there is um, kind of that they should get the fruits of their conflict or their battle-hardened men. Um, all these people had died and they felt that they warranted, since they were on the winning side, some of that land. So um, we have a Soviet Union that starts to kind of mobilize and expand their communism ideas, and America becomes alarmed. So we have Winston Churchill, who gives a famous speech about the Berlin, um, the Iron Curtain. I apologize. This Iron Curtain had fallen across Europe. Um, Harry Truman um, declares the Truman Doctrine, where he says that he will give any financial aid to support free people who resist attempted subjugation, i.e. anybody that wants to spread communism. Puts $400 million into Greece to help push out communism. So this leads to um, George F. Keenan's um, famous containment plan where he feels like um, the only thing to do is for Mer America to be the sentinel or the, you know, force behind containing communism and not letting it spread. So we spend all this money, $13 billion to $50 billion a year in taxes are increased to try to contain communism within this 40 year period. The first um, type of program that was created was this Marshall Plan um, after a gentleman named George Marshall um, in the government. And he wanted to go in and you see um, these uh, figures of how much money we poured into all these different countries to try to contain communism and help them out because their nation was so uh, destroyed after the war. And they need to get back on their feet. Um, of course, the Balfour Declaration that you got from your um, vocabulary um, was a the secretary declaring that we needed to create a Jewish state in this Palestinian area because that was owned or imperialized by Britain, and they wanted to help those people out. Um, so Israel becomes a nation in 1948. We'll talk about that later. So the creation of the state, Israel's right here, get an idea. Um, the Palestinians um, ended up having to share this land with them. So the next conflict is in Germany. Um, the United States, Britain, France, and Russia all kind of carve out a piece of Germany, and then they carve out a piece uh, for each of them in the capital of Berlin, which of course is inside of Germany. So let me show you, um, I believe... Um, okay, so right here, see how we have West Berlin and East Berlin, and they're inside of um, Germany here. West Berlin's here in blue, and here is East Berlin. So what happens with the Berlin airlift is um, Russia decides that they don't like the other countries coming into their area of Germany and blocks it off. It's called the blockade of the land. And um, over 7,000 tons are airlifted into um, Berlin every single day until Russia um, opens up their borders again and lets them get through. So here's East Germany, here's West Germany to get an idea. Um, so this is called the Eastern Bloc that Russia takes over. Um, and they take over all of these different countries. This dark pink is Russia and all these lighter pink countries are all the People's Republic of Poland. They're all satellite nations, they're called. Um, and so to combat this, America helps create the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. And NATO is um, uh, comprised of nine different countries, um, a couple of them, Canada, the United States, that are here, but they all are supposed to touch the Atlantic Ocean, if you... Um, it's, there's not a map here. And then, of course, Russia doesn't want to be one-upped, so they be, they start the Warsaw Pact, which are all the countries that they own. So here is NATO in blue. 
um, that is supposed to be touching the Atlantic Ocean. And then here is Warsaw in pink. So the Cold War heats up with the atomic age. America is the only one that has the bomb. And then Russia goes ahead and creates a bomb. Um, you know, their secrets, um, 007 spies that leak out how to make an atomic bomb. And they detonate the first one in 1949. So now this is a global or nuclear war that at any point one person could walk up and, and push on a switch. So the next issue that happens is losing China. America kind of lets China fall to communism because they feel like they shouldn't go in and they shouldn't help out other countries if they decide to be communist and we give them money, but they still choose to let them be communist. But then we realize China is such a huge, gigantic country that the next uh, country to fall would be Korean war, um, the Korean country. And so China's right here, they become communists and they're like, hey, Korea, be communist too. So the communist people start moving into North Korea and America freaks out and sits here at the 38th parallel and they um, help the Korean people who are shouting, no, we don't want to be communists. They help these people out and they push the Koreans back. So there's those back and forth movement all the way up here um, to China. China at that time had not only given them supplies, had not helped them until we got into China. And um, Douglas MacArthur actually talked about wanting to detonate China with a nuclear weapon. And at that point, China's like, uh, no. And they actually start pushing back. So this Korean War lasts for three years. Um, we had about 50,000 Americans that died in it um, and 15 different countries because it was fought by NATO um, are um, send their troops to Korea to try to help them out. So what are some of the side effects? Um, we were able to contain communism, not stop it because North Korea was communist for about 40 years. Um, and we were able to um, help um, keep South Korea um, at the 38th parallel uh, democratic state. So here's a better map right here with North and South. So um, the end of the Korean War, a truce is signed in 1953. Um, we had 50,000 deaths. Um, I think when the soldiers came back home, we had more. Um, possible easing of tension. Um, Stalin dies in the Korean War, and there's a new leader that we start talking to, Khrushchev. Nikita Khrushchev takes over. Um, he actually comes to America, and he sits and talks to the vice president for a while in the kitchen talks, I believe it's called. So the Soviet Union um, turns its attention, moves from Korea, and turns back to um, Hungary, in one of their um, satellite nations or under the Iron Curtain because they had um, a group of people that were protesting. So Nikita Khrushchev um, denounces Stalin's policies and he kind of, and the purges, and he removes a whole bunch of Stalin's supporters. So uh, the next issue happens in the Suez Canal when we have the Egyptian president who tries to go to war with Israel, which of course is backed by Britain and France and the United States. The Soviet Union um, does not want America to be involved or the other Western nations, and they protest, but they don't intervene. Egypt is able to keep the canal while the United States show constraint in attempting this um, to avoid any war between these two countries. Um, the next issue was the three crisis of 1956, where we have Poland that is um, telling the Soviet Union, we don't like your choice. We don't want this person to be our leader. Um, and then we have the Hungarian uprising where the people of Hungary um, want to stay out of the Warsaw Pact. And so Soviet troops come in to Hungary. So the Cold War in the 1950s um, becomes the race to go to space. So this is Nikita Khrushchev with Sputnik, and he wants to put um, a whole bunch of stuff into space, pretty much pointing to the United States. He says that we're going to get, we're going to bury them. So um, the Cold War, War in the 1950s, America tries to um, create NASA. They um, start, they build 50 to 100 ICBMs. Um, and then we move to the third world. And we'll pick up there on the next recording. <laughs>